Welcome back. Today we have this Winchester Model 70. It's in 458 Win Mag, and the customer wants a muzzle brake installed, but we're going to contour it and blue it to match the barrel so it won't stick out as much as some other muzzle brakes that are being put on today. The first thing we're going to do is this particular brake isn't the thread size that we want. It's a uh, nine sixteenths and uh, metric, so I suppose it's not nine sixteenths, but it's not the correct size for the barrel. We're gonna go ahead and bore this out and tap it to five eighths twenty four in preparation for putting it on this gun. With our brake roughly set into our forge out chuck, now we'll use a dial indicator to dial it in within a half thousandths of an inch. To dial in a forge out chuck, you move each jaw individually. I like to move the jaw that is on the same spot where my dial indicator touches the piece that you're working on. That way you see whether you are moving the dial clockwise or counterclockwise and can loosen or tighten each jaw as needed when you rotate it around. So 5 8 24 uses a 37 64 drill bit. The Ace Hardware down the street didn't have one. So we're going to drill it out, and then we're going to use a boring bar to open up to 578 thousandths. And that should put us right where we need to be.
that's as far as we can drill it out. So now we're going to get set up with our boring bar and so we can uh, bore it out the rest of the way. This boring bar is already set up in my tool holder, but I always try to double check to make sure it's dead center. Now that we're nowhere in the center, we'll make a couple cuts and bring it to our final dimensions for our tap. I'm using a telescoping bore gauge to measure the ID of this. Um, it's got kind of rounded edges and works well for these inside measurements. You can lock it in place, pull it out, and then measure it with a micrometer. So the proper drill size for a 5 8 tap would be 37 64 or the decimal equivalent is 0.578. Looks good. So let's get our tap and get it started. Since we're all lined up in our lathe, we're going to start the tap in our lathe using just the drill chuck. And then I'm going to take it over to the bench and finish it off. That way it's getting started all perfectly aligned in our current setup. Got our 5 8 24 threads cut in there. We'll still have to go in and cut a little recess here so that when we come up against the shoulder of our barrel, we won't have anything obstructing a nice tight fit. But 